everybody today I'm going to show you how to make a simple graph in Microsoft Excel it can be a bar graph a line graph or whatever you may like let's get right to it straight away uh, you come direct to start depending on the office you're using I'm using a, a Windows Windows 10 so in Windows 10 you click here some people they can put it on the display here but in my computer I have it here you go and click all apps then you look for Microsoft Excel and you find all the Excel packages are all here or Microsoft Office packages are here so uh, our interest is Microsoft Excel but there can be many ways you can access Microsoft Excel. You can either just click on uh, Windows and you search Excel and it gives you Microsoft Excel. You see Excel 2013. See, for me I'm using Microsoft Excel 2013. Uh, if you're using earlier versions or the latest version, the interface can be slightly different. But that, that should, cannot change anything. What we are going to do is the same across all versions. Let's select this blank one and get started. There can be many like you get how to give a table, tutorial, and those are all things. Click on the blank one. So this is our work area. Let me zoom this so that we are able to see clearly. So this is where you zoom from. See, you click it up to when you feel you are able to see clearly. Now you can see the area is very clear. So without wasting time, let's have our data. What we should know before you enter, you cannot put a graph before you enter the data. The most important thing is the data first. So we can maybe imagine like you want enter something maybe your boss wants to see something like uh, how the visitors have been coming to the organization this area we can say maybe the months mm -hmm. then we may be having maybe the category of visitors maybe we can say male female and probably children see that we want to analyze this data so we can have the months January uh, February well I have some of my data here already I can just pick this is see this is the graph we want to make so I can decide to pick this and take it to our area here that we want to to do for you to copy that just go and highlight all of it then you control c or you can just highlight all and you come to copy that is how i got it so when you come in here you can just control v or you come to this and paste you can just click there or many other best options i'll show you that in the next tutorial uh, thank you. Now we have our data. Our interest is to make a graph like this one or anything more than this or different. So this is what you're going to do. You select the area you want the graph to be. For example, me I want mine to be here. What you're going to do is, you know, there are all these functions in Microsoft Excel. But in this area we want to insert. So you select insert then you choose the type of graph you want you know this is called charts under charts or on top of charts there are many types of graphs here so we can straight away check on this one this is the one we saw earlier from there there are many but we can start with this then you click on this you see it if let me reduce the zoom a bit because i made it so big See, this is what we, we can put it slightly dark to make sure that we're able to see it clearly. This is our area we're going to put our graph. 
There are many ways, but I'm going to show you a more simple way. So when you have your area like this, you have to right click. This is right click. You know a mouse has two pads. Right click, then you select, select data. See this? When you select that, it gives you this area. This looks strange to us, but it's very simple. You go and click add. This is tells us the uh, those are things on uh, vertical pad. So you're going to select the series of the series name, which is uh, mail. The first one you want it's mail. So you're going to say mail. Then the series value. You can clear what is this. in the by default it brings close to in brackets one. You clear that and select all the data in mails. See already behind it shows something. You say okay. You again say add. So when you select add, you say your series name is female. When you finish selecting female, you remove this and you highlight all female and press enter so after that you remember we're left with the one thing which is children we do the same for this you remove and select all this and you press enter so we have finished with this but remember the boss wants to see in January how many people came in just like that so you're going to come to horizontal just because this graph of powers is changed. Ideally, this should have been vertical and the other. But when you want the other bar graph, this should be horizontal and the other vertical. So you come and click on this edit because they had brought this by default. So in edit access range, you're just going to select the months. Click on that and you press enter. You see? It automatically shows us what we need. You can change the display of your data or whatever, the colors. There are many things you can actually do to, to do this. So you can zoom. Hmm? You have created your, your data. You can have the background should be clearly white. Anything. This is simple how we can make the graph. You can even change the type from here. Hmm? You may come like line graph and change it to a line graph. You just say change type to a pie chart and you change to a pie chart. See that? This is where you play your things around. But if you basically don't want to just change, you go back, remove everything and change it to the way you want you had it before. Thank you very much for watching. This is what I had for you today. Subscribe to our channel to get more updates and more lessons. Enjoy your day.